Believe it or not, Windows is now faster on an Apple M2 MacBook Air than on an actual Windows laptop, and not an old one, a new Windows laptop like the XPS Plus, which is one of the most popular ones. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how it's faster. I'm gonna show you how to download and install Parallels 18, because that's the version we're using because they put in a ton of optimizations this year, making it a lot faster and more convenient to download. So before I show you guys how crazy fast Windows is on the M2 MacBook Air with Parallels, I'm gonna drop a link to Parallels 18 in the description below so you can download it, but you'll also need a Windows license key, and thankfully, we partnered up with our sponsor, Software Keep, so you can get 20% off a genuine Windows 10 or Windows 11 license. Now, as you know, there are so many fishy websites out there that could scam you, but Software Keep is a Microsoft certified gold partner who sells only 100% genuine Microsoft Microsoft software so you don't have to worry, which resulted in Software Keep earning over a hundred thousand five-star reviews. And not only can you get a killer price for Windows with an instant download, but they are extremely popular for Microsoft Office 365, and you can also save money by buying a lifetime license instead of a subscription version. And on top of that, they also have great prices on other software, including the most popular antivirus, and their customer service is phenomenal with 24-7, 365 customer service support where you'll talk to a real person instead of a robot. So buy a Windows key for Parallels or anything else you need today and save 20% off their already great prices by using the link in the description and the coupon code MAXTECH20. All right, and here we go. We got Windows 11 installed with Parallels 18 on the M2 MacBook Air. It's actually very easy, and you'll see how easy it is in the install guide later on in this video, but I want to show how awesome this is. Check this out. We have Windows 11, but you still have access to your dock. Yes, you can use all of your Mac apps at the same time. You still have your menu bar for Mac while using Windows 11, this is incredible. This is where you get this for the people who want Windows for some specific apps that are required to have Windows, but you also want the Mac because you want the super nice design. You don't wanna hear any fan noise, which is very annoying with a lot of Windows laptops like the XPS Plus, which turns on the fans just to restart the system itself, which is kind of crazy, but you also want Windows at the same time. So this is a perfect solution with Parallels 18 and now let me show you guys the performance difference and how fast this is by testing Geekbench 5 under Parallels 18 in Windows 11. Now while this is running, I do wanna make a point about the prices because this M2 MacBook Air is less expensive than the Dell XPS Plus that we compared it to. That one was $1,850, yes, $1,850 compared to this one, 1,600 with 16 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs SSD, and you'll see the performance difference. And boom, there you go, we have a result. Take a look at that score, 1681 for single core and 7260 for multi-core. That's actually 42% faster than the Dell XPS Plus Unplugged, which is how you're gonna be using your laptop in most cases, and 32% faster in multi-core. And the crazy thing is, even if you plug in the Dell XPS to feed it more power, because of course, the battery life on those machines is not good, and those chips take a lot of power, Hour, especially the new ones, you're still beating it out in terms of single core performance, and it's almost as good in terms of the multi-core performance. That's just crazy that this is running in Parallels 18, Windows 11, and it's getting this much performance. But wait, let me show you the web browsing performance with the speedometer benchmark. And there you go, check that out. Even under Windows 11 in Parallels, we got 228 runs per minute for the web browsing speed, which is faster than the XPS Plus. The fastest score we got there was 209. So that is unbelievable that even through all that translation going on in Windows 11, of course it's even faster in Mac OS itself, over 300 points or even close to 400 points, which is crazy. We still got this much in Windows 11. That is awesome. Now on top of that, you are also getting a lot of benefits by choosing to go with the M2 MacBook Air with Parallels 18 to run the Windows test that you need because you're also getting the better webcam, you're getting the awesome display, you're getting the awesome thin and light design, no fan noise, 
ever. You don't have to worry about that. You have features like MagSafe 3, and of course you have the resale value, which is a big reason people buy Macs instead of Windows laptops, because they are very reliable and they last for many, many years without breaking or starting to mess up like a lot of the Windows laptops unfortunately do. However, I did run into a couple of issues with Windows 11 through Parallels 18. Because I think this is a new M2 chip, not everything is supported yet. Like I tried to run DaVinci Resolve 18 and it says that I have an unsupported GPU processing node. So it looks like it does need to get updated because it is not showing. So DaVinci Resolve currently is not working, but that's okay because it's a cross platform app and you can simply run it on the Mac OS version right alongside Windows 11 with Parallels 18, which is a really nice and convenient thing. And it is super fast on the M2 MacBook Air, faster than the Windows competition. Now on top of that, I also tried to install Adobe Creative Cloud to run Lightroom Classic to test out the speed. But once again, the installation failed because it cannot be run from a network drive. So it seems like a Parallels 18 issue. I'm not sure, but it's not a big deal because it's also cross platform platform and incredibly fast within macOS on the M2 MacBook Air. So that's really nice that we have those cross-platform apps. With that said, I think Parallels 18 is a huge upgrade compared to before, and it is the best way to run Windows 11 on a Mac machine. And with that said, let's go over to the installation guide. All right, now getting into the installation process for Parallels 18 on Mac OS, the first thing you're gonna do is go to the actual website, parallels.com. You can find an easy link to it down in the description and pinned comment below, so definitely use that. Let's click download free trial, and it should direct you to the download. Click allow, and there you go. Open it up in your downloads folder, and then just double click on install Parallels Desktop. Click OK through these prompts, and there you go. Go ahead and put your Mac's password as the download finishes up. Then go through the permissions that you need to accept. Just click OK on everything here to give it access. And boom, right there it says download and install Windows 11. And it should start creating it and installing it by itself, which is awesome with the new Parallels 18 update. And there you go, the download is finished. It's asking us if it wants access to the camera. Let's do don't allow. I don't think that matters. Don't allow the microphone either. We don't really need that unless you do. And here you go, the installation of Windows 11 is going. And boom, the installation is complete. Let's click to continue. And here you're gonna put in your login credentials for Parallels or basically create an account. And there you go, we're in Windows 11. As you can see, we have the web browser open so we can go ahead and close that. There's our desktop. We have our Windows updates. If you choose to download those, you can do that as well. There you go, that was incredibly easy. Good job, Parallels 11. And that's how you install it. So hopefully you enjoyed this whole video with all the testing we did, showing off how good this M2 MacBook Air is. And if you enjoyed it, click the circle above to subscribe. Definitely check out one of those two videos right over there. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.